Hi, Fire Signs, Narai here. Gonna do a reading, three separate readings. So it will be time stamped for Aries, Leo, and Sag. We're gonna start with Aries, Spirit. Fire sign. All right, so this first reading is gonna be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. This is gonna be a quickie read, so it's just gonna be a few minutes. Spirit, what messages do we have? Please know to take what fits and leave the rest, as this is not a personal reading. Messages and guidance for Aries, please and thank you. Alrighty, thank you. Messages, ooh, <coughs> excuse me. Messages and guidance for Aries, please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. So what I have, what I have, the first card, Aries, is the Ace of Wands in reverse. Normally, the Ace of Wands upright is like a, a, some sort of passionate beginning. It could be like the start of a business or something like that. You, you putting your energy into something. I feel like... I feel like there's something in particular that you want to start, but you're not actually taking action. And I feel like you may need to think about that because something may come at you really fast. Um, and you may have to, this also has to do with boundaries. Eight of Wands has to do with boundaries, like having boundaries. Um, I feel like you may need to actually reconsider this because something may actually come at you fast that gives you a reason to celebrate. It gives you a reason to celebrate. And if you, you know what, this, and if you sleep on it, what's going to happen is it's going to affect your, your, your stability and your finances with the nine of pentacles in reverse. The nine of pentacles upright is somebody that is financially stable and self-reliant. For me, this is kind of like somebody that's pretty much living their best life by themselves, taking care of things that they need to take care of, going to the spa, um, doing a lot of self-care outside of the home, paying for services, having the funds to do what they want. This is a very financially independent person. I feel that if you sleep on something and don't actually take action, <coughs> don't actually take action, you're going to miss out on this opportunity to celebrate. And you're going to miss out on the opportunity to actually be financially independent or more, more financially independent than you are now. So that is what I have for you. Aries, thank you so much. Please like the video and we are going to start at 345 for Leo so spirit what messages do we have for Leo please and thank you messages and guidance for Leo please and thank you messages and guidance for Leo please and thank you well, that came out. We're keeping it. So the first card is Seven of Pentacles, Leo. This is about investing in yourself. This is about you being patient, knowing that if you plant seeds, things will come into fruition for you. Um, for some of you, this is about manifesting and writing down the things that you want and then setting it and forgetting it, writing things down and putting it aside somewhere and then not worrying about it, knowing that you have to do the work to help the certain things manifest that you may want, especially when it comes to money or skills that you have for a job or a craft. But it's going to be worth it for you. It's going to be worth the hard work. 
All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for mm, now? The Four of Pentacles is knowing where to invest in where to invest your money into or what to invest your money into and um, for me in this particular deck it's also about knowing when to hold your energy back knowing who and what your energy and money are worth investing in this is you guys saving your energy and your money Yes, because you guys, Leo, do not want to deal with anybody's baggage. Spirit, messages and guidance. Mm. Yeah, you don't want to deal with anybody's baggage because you've already been in a situation where you've been heartbroken. And you thought the person was your two of cups. Oof. And for some of you, it actually affected your independence, your financial independence. I feel like um, you may have felt like somebody was in the situation with you because of your money. I don't know how I got that. All right. So some of you are in the Four of Swords energy right now. Just taking a break and meditating and, and thinking about everything and thinking about the things you truly want in your life. But good job for you and um, finally knowing what to invest into as far as money and your energy because that's going to be the best thing for you. And I see you guys are nurturing yourself right now with the Empress energy. You are nurturing yourself and you are manifesting for yourself. I feel like a lot of you feel like right now the only person you can trust, Leo, is yourself. You can trust your own word. Can't really trust anyone else's. So thank you for watching and thank you for liking the video. Next we are going to do Sagittarius. Sagittarius is starting at 7.35. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Saggies? Please and thank you. Messages for Sagittarius, please and thank you. One more shuffle, please and thank you. This is just so not setting right. This is a scarf tied behind my back just to cover my shoulders. Ooh. Two of Swords. You guys are stuck between a rock and a hard place, not knowing which way to go. I uh, have a really difficult decision to make and kind of unsure. I think some of you were in your head about something. Oh my gosh. I feel like for some of you, I don't know why this just, I don't see the card that came. I will pick it up. It's like this, but I feel that some of you are trying to make a decision, Sagittarius, and for some reason in my mind popped in between two women, but I feel like it's a woman trying to make the decision. That's for someone out there. You're kind of stuck between two ladies. Um, so let's see what this card is. I have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, when I see this particular card, I see somebody that is loyal, somebody that is stable financially and security-wise. They can provide the financial security, but I'm also gathering somebody that can provide the emotional security, just meaning that this is a person when involved with somebody likes to make sure their person feels secure in a relationship and is very, um, is very loyal and is full of passion <laughs> so let's see what's next okay that came out what is this I have the two of pentacles you are really stuck making a decision this is about you making a decision and prioritizing figuring out 
what is more important to you. So this might be you figuring out who is most important to you when we're talking about a relationship, if we are, for some of you, um, or whoever is trying to decide between two feminine energies, because that just popped into my mind. But some of you need to prioritize. Some of you need to realize that getting in that king of pentacles energy means you'll have to prioritize and decide what is important and what is not, especially when it comes to your energy and your finances. What was this? I had the two of wands cards where some of you are looking out and trying to see what else is out there. Some of you may actually want to travel. Ooh. And if you travel, for those of you that have families that are watching my readings, that have no business watching my readings, you and your whole family may travel. <laughs> but for others of you, you may actually meet somebody where you can have that Ten of Pentacles energy. Yeah, there's a bus here. And the funny thing is this particular... Um, the Ten of Pentacles on another one of my cards actually shows like a family getting on a plane. So I just felt that this was so fitting for these two with the whole family here and there's a bus there and a globe. So some of you may be, um, some of you may be traveling with family and others of you traveling alone. If you're single, you may actually meet somebody that you can create a family with. So thank you for watching. Sagittarius. So that is what I have for you. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, I love you guys. I thank you for watching my video. Please like. Um, even if you just like the music, please like it. But I thank you. And subscribe if you choose to. It would definitely help me. And until next time, I love you guys. And have a great day. Bye.